we're going to show the technique of a flush cut mortar joint. The mortar is installed the same way with an overgrout. The mortar is installed, bulging out past the face of the brick. Now that will sit until that you can touch it and it will not stick to your finger. If it is work too early it will smear on the face of the brick okay so this wall has sat for about 20 minutes you can touch it and it's, it's not sticking to your your finger um, the tool the technique you use a margin and this is the simplest tool to help mix your mud uh, fill your grout bag and uh, it's the same tool we use to scrape the face of the mortar off so that it uh, leaves that exposed for more of a more rustic uh, warehouse um, look that you can achieve with this mortar. Very simple. Um, similar to brushing, we want to do that at a 45 degree angle so that you're not digging down inside of the joints. If you run it vertically or horizontally, you can catch inside of the mortar. So we'll just cut that off. One of the tricks, if there's any spots that didn't get enough grout into that um, mortar, it is sunken down in. You can go and run, the, run that over, catch some of the, the material, the mortar, and push it back into the cavity or the hole that is that is missed. That way that the the uh, consistency of the mud is the same on the wall as what you're retaining and putting back into it. Leave it uh, as rustic or cleaned up as much as possible uh, as you want. Um, now at this stage, after we've scraped it all off, we'll let it sit for about the same amount of time before you decide to do any kind of brushing or uh, working with this wall or cleaning. Um, we want it to uh, set a little bit more before I touch it with a brush. Okay, we've let this sit up and um, what I want to do is take a brush that is um, it's not too stiff, but it's still soft enough. Um, and like we, like you do on the other uh, mortar, you just want to make sure it's not going to be sticking or smearing across your brick. At this stage, you can just leave it just the way it is and not do any brushing. Um, if you do brush it, same technique, make sure that you're running across it a 45 and you can hit and the way that I prefer to do is just very lightly to make sure if there's any little high spots it just kind of knocks it down or any loose mortar will fall off. Um, areas too that uh, maybe didn't get uh, scraped off as well 
when you hit it with a brush, it can open that up a little bit so that it will finish nice. Um, but just softly and lightly kind of crossed it and that will loose, take any loose sand or materials that were on it. If there were brick that the mortar came across um, and left color marks on that, you can go and scrub those individually to make sure that they're cleaned up if you like that. The one thing you want to avoid is putting any water on your brick or any of this at this time. It will run it and it will leave a haze and it creates more work and more difficult to clean. So if you can brush it at this point as if it, with it being dry, you're much further along. And uh, say if there's any spots that didn't get scraped well that you, that you want to hit with a brush, you can do that. But it's a neat looking finish product. Very simple, very easy to do. It takes a lot less manual work than striking all the joints. Good luck.